Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to paint this sunset cloudscape. Let's get started. We are torn between nostalgia for the familiar and an urge for the foreign and strange. As often as not, we are homesick most for the places we have never known. I find myself at home in the clouds and I love to paint them. I'm starting off here with a purple background and I'm going to fade it lighter as I go down. If you're new to my channel, welcome! I'll put all the colors I'm using in the description of the video if you'd like to follow along with me. This cloudscape is full of colors. It takes place at sunset. I often see clouds like these in my hometown of St. Augustine, Florida this time of year. Fluffy clouds are my favorite to paint. In the beginning here, I'm just putting all the colors down, not defining anything too much, just getting all the colors on the canvas. When I do a sunset painting, I like to fade the colors almost like a rainbow so that the blue is touching the purple and the purple is touching the pink and then the pink will fade into the yellow and that usually gives it a really glowy effect. I'm thinking these clouds are going to be really tall, like they're towering over the sea, as they often do. And now I'm starting to blend the colors together. That faded crimson color that I put there will bridge the blue and the yellow together so that I won't make a green color. I love it when the clouds make this blue color during sunset. I think it's so pretty. Now I'm beginning to establish where the horizon is at the bottom. I'm putting it really low in this painting and making the clouds the focus. I'm adding a little more crimson into that blue and it'll make it look a little more distant and like it's catching the light from the sunset. I often paint with my fingers when I do clouds. To me it's the easiest way to blend, but if you're going to do this make sure you're using non-toxic oil paints like I am. I also love to feel what I'm doing with my fingers, and it's also less washing afterwards. I'm starting to establish those yellow clouds in the middle. With these clouds I'm adding white for the highlights and then a magenta color for the shadows, and that'll really make that golden color pop and look like it's reflecting the light of the sunset.
in this painting, the lightest part of it is right above the golden clouds. And everything gets darker from that point. That is the focal point of the white. And I'm just blending away, letting all cares and worries go as I do this, and recenter myself with the creative flow. I love to paint at the end of a long day and just forget about all my troubles. I'm starting to get some of the details going now. I'm making that top part of the cloud on the left reflect some of those sunset colors and fade into the blue. Clouds are all about layers, so as I go, I go down the cloud and add more layers in, just making sure to add the highlights and shadows in with each layer that I do. One thing I love about painting clouds is they can kind of take any shape that you want. It's one of the most boundless subjects of art that I've found because clouds can be all different kinds of shapes and you can have all different kinds of lighting on them as well. So there's always something new to discover when painting clouds. It's also interesting because in the sky, a lot of times clouds already look like a painting. So it's a really unique subject of expression to me. I'm just giving this big cloud on the left lots of details, lots of highlights and shadows, and I'm just figuring out which parts go where. I like to sort of feel it out as I go with painting. I don't necessarily map the whole thing out beforehand. And now I'm putting in what will be the shadows for the golden parts of the cloud. And now I'm doing the same, but for the highlights, just adding lots of strands of white to be the highlights of the golden cloud. I'm adding in blue for the shadows here as well and just taking it layer by layer and that slowly unfolds the clouds to be very fluffy and layered and detailed. One quote I love is by Tyler Knott Gregson and it says, We are the silver lining in every dark cloud. There is no need to go looking for the light when you bring it with you. His quotes often inspire me. I'm making the clouds in the background very faint, like the light from behind them is so bright that you can almost hardly see them. And that I think really gives this piece a sense of depth. And now I'm going to add tons of tiny curves of white, all facing towards that whitest part of the painting, 
like it's catching the light on this massive cumulus cloud in the sky. Now I'm doing the same with the bottom part of the painting, just adding lots of white on the tops of each cloud and blending it in to the shadows. I'm also adding just some stray pieces of cloud that are just uh, floating there. Large clouds often do this, little pieces will break off. A good thing to remember about inspiration is that it's always inside of you, and it's not separate from you. I know what it's like to feel blocked or separate from that creative part of yourself, but that creative river flowing through you is still there, always, just waiting for your heart to open again. And sometimes if I think I'm feeling blocked and I just start painting, it'll go away. It's surprising what painting can do. It's also important to never be discouraged if what you're creating isn't quite what you imagined it would be. We're all on a journey here, and the most important thing is that you're having fun. I'm just kind of playing around with different colors now for these golden clouds. I'm trying out different pinks and purples for the shadows of them, kind of just seeing what fits, and I'm adding that white for the highlights on the edges of them as well. Some advice I have for mixing sunset colors is just to make sure that the blue and yellow don't touch because that'll just make a green color, which can be pretty, but maybe not what you're looking for. I like to add purple and pink in between those leading up to the yellow, and that'll make a nice blend of colors that go together really nicely. I also like to add a lot of white into each color as I'm mixing it. This creates a more subtle color and less intense and easier to blend with the next color. Ever since I was young, I've loved staring at clouds, trying to find shapes in them, or just admiring them. They always seemed otherworldly to me, and I always wanted to paint them, even before I ever painted.
It always amazed me how huge they can be and how many different shapes they can take. Another piece of advice I have for painting any subject really is to go out in nature and study it. Just, just watch it. I find myself staring at clouds or a tree or the ocean for hours sometimes, watching what the light does with it over time or how it moves so that I can put the full essence of it into my paintings. I also find this to be a good practice even if you aren't a painter, just being in nature and observing everything. It helps your troubles seem a little bit smaller. I'm beginning to add a blue now for the ocean at the bottom of the canvas. I'll start with the blue color and then add in some of the sunset tones to the water as it's reflecting the light. Getting the straight line perfect for the horizon is always a little tricky. I usually just eyeball it, but you can also use some masking tape just to draw that horizon line, and then you can peel it away to make the rest of the ocean. I'm adding some highlights before I add in those, those pinks and yellows to the water. This will help it to match more easily with the blue and not make just a green color. With this ocean, I'm kind of going for just a simple, really far away kind of ocean. It's not going to be too defined, but just as if you're seeing the light from a long way off on the water. The focus of this piece is really the clouds, but I feel adding the sea in kind of gives a sense of distance and depth to the piece. Now I'm adding that yellow in, and I'll go over it with some pink as well. I'd love to know what you guys think of this in the comments. And if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button. That would really help me out. Now we're getting that deeper crimson color in there and that'll really draw the eye back towards the clouds and kind of pull the whole piece together. And it's just about finished. I want to thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. 
It's always an adventure finding something new to create together. I'd love to know what inspires you in the comments. And I hope you join me again soon.